here we are with immoral guild episode one so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i will tell you let's get to the episode <laughs> yeah damn Yeah, um, we watched the uncensored, ver uncensored version. Great start. <laughs> He's so calm about it. <clears throat> so yeah, from... <clears throat> From what I've heard, this is, oh my god, this is like Konosuba, just in way looter. <laughs> I like the visuals here. Booba. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can imagine that this will be a great anime. Oh my god. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a good point. Dude, the text goes by so fast I can't read everything. I have to re watch this completely. Holy shit. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, God damn, she's thick, bro. <laughs> so that I can get away from you. So he's a good hunter and he gets like a lot of holy shit useless companions. I guess.
Preempt the strike. <laughs> Complete. Oh, my. <laughs> Dude, I love it. Dude, this anime. Yes! <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> maybe there's a slime or maybe not okay <laughs> oh boy Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, next one. Exactly. Don't be reckless. Be smart. Be careful. <laughs> of course. Bear lion. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> see. <laughs> God damn, dude. This is useless. Do <laughs> at least something, right? She's a bait. Dude, we are just nine and a half minutes in. <laughs> <clears throat> mm hmm. I mean, she was good bait.
Is he the only hunter here that is good? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Made now. White sorceress. <laughs> Dude, he's the only hunter here that is good, and everyone else is a novice. What? Wow. <laughs> Mage measure? <laughs> Man, he's so depressed. <laughs> All right, off to the next quest. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> and she's happy. Oh, next one. No. Holy damn, dude. Interesting that they have like a PC in this world. <laughs> yeah, after yesterday. I guess it was yesterday, right? Another slime. Oh my god. <laughs> oh 
God damn the ass, dude. And there we go. <laughs> okay. So far, so good, more or less. Does she have piercing attacks? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, another one. Uh oh. The other one from behind. From behind, oh my god. It goes in the pants. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Okay. What's the drawback? There must be a drawback, right? <laughs> Invoice. I guess that's true. <laughs> the giant slime? Oh my god! <laughs> A mega slime. Uh oh, what will happen? No. I mean, yes. <laughs> and she's useless. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, he needs a uh, he needs more money. He need he needs a race. From all the work he has to do here.
<laughs> this far away. <laughs> Arigato for catching me. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Of course, I can't wait. <sighs> okay, let's see the outro. <laughs> that was an amazing first episode. Holy shit, dude. I can't wait to see what's coming next, dude. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think, but goddamn, <laughs> I guess there isn't really much to say, right? I mean, <clears throat> we saw what it is, right? It has very little substance, I would say. It's basically, we have our main character who is a skilled hunter. It seems like he is the only useful hunter here in this city, town, whatever. And he just wants to retire because that's all he did for his whole life, right? As a kid, he started training and then he became a hunter and now he's working, 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 working as a hunter and never had a relationship, is far away from marriage and just wants to get a different life, right? <clears throat> Have some time for himself and not just for hunting and work. And now he gets like all these recruits other adventurer, hunter, whatever that are all super useless but are all good looking girls <laughs> and basically he's trying to train them to get like a successor so that he can retire from this job basically and <clears throat> I mean that's basically it and then a lot of loot shit happens right where basically the girls are completely useless and he has to save them all the time basically 
and yeah i mean that's so far basically it and there isn't much seriousness or anything it's just dumb fun if you like loot shit i would say so i like it a lot i i i love the shit i love it i think it's so funny and i definitely can't wait to see the next episode right um so yeah i mean what else could i say about this i mean is there anything else to say i mean the loot stuff happened with the slime she broke her finger i mean that was painful <laughs> that's something i didn't expect it right i i thought she would just fail at destroying the core inside the slime right but she broke her damn fingers <laughs> that looked painful as fuck and then we have the other girl that healed her and it's like yep i sh i send you an invoice so that you can pay me for the heal <laughs> oh, and i mean I, I guess otherwise we'll really just have to wait, right, to see what happens next. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess there isn't much else to say really. I mean, dumb fun if you like if you like loot shit, and yeah. I mean, we know that there will be at least two more girls, right? The one with the dark hair and the one with the pink hair. And I mean. <clears throat> He's kind of oblivious, right? I, I feel like the receptionist, like I said in this episode, I think that's something interesting that they have like technology in this world, right? It looks like more medieval, not medieval, but like more fantasy oriented, right? But then they have like uh, technology with the PC and every, everything, right? That's interesting. Um, But I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, we know he wants to get a relationship, right? And go into that direction. Instead of like doing the hunting for a living the whole time, basically, and do nothing else. And so I get the feeling that maybe the receptionist wants to like hook him up with the other girls, right, that are joining. Um, is my feeling. I mean, I guess you could say it's maybe obvious. Or I don't want to say it's obvious because I don't know. I mean, maybe that's just how I feel that it goes into that direction because it's good looking girls and all that stuff and that's what he wants and so in this regard he could do the hunting job and have a nice girl at his hand right um yeah <clears throat> i feel like it's it goes in that direction and it seems obvious that that's something that's happening that she wants to hook him up but maybe not maybe i'm just seeing it the wrong way i don't know and i mean on the other hand, the other girl might be a bit too young, 15, right? The other girl is fine, 18, I guess. Um, but 15? Eh, dangerous, right? Um, especially, I mean, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah. We will see, I guess, right? But in that regard, he's a bit oblivious. He's looking for girls, basically, right? And then he gets at least one that is 18. <laughs> But all he has in his mind is like, she's useless. She's not the successor that I'm looking for. And so, I guess this might be, like I said, maybe might be a thing that the receptionist is trying to hook him up with the girls and he's like oblivious to it. And it's like, yeah, I'm looking for a successor. And he just ignores that he has basically like good looking girls at his side here. I mean, we will see how it goes, right? But first episode super fun i think and can't wait for more to see where it's going and what happens next i mean i i know what is happening next but i want to see what exactly is happening next so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye